Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is May 1st through 7th. Hope you're amazing. So we're going to jump right in, see what we got for you. Okay, so Virgo, let's see what spirit has for your best and highest good. May 1st through 7th. We have healer in reverse, taking advantage of those who need help, failing to care for oneself. Uh, Virgo, we all know that you have a tendency to overhelp people when you care about them. These are important. <laughs> I feel like you have to hit all these key points, right? Um, but you have to remember to kind of step away to take care of yourself. Okay, let's be honest. You know, like you can heal everyone in the world if you want to that you love, but you can't heal from a broken place. So you always have to remember self-care, taking care of yourself, um, establishing your boundaries, taking care of your work before someone you love, you know, because you have to also keep yourself together. OK. Soulful appreciation, heartfelt gratitude. Um, that's the thing. I feel like you want to show somebody how much you care about them and how important they are. Um, but you also have to remember to take care of yourself and put yourself first sometimes. Um, I do feel like they don't, they may not understand it right now because there's a weight and they don't like it. But I feel like you're setting up a new precedence for a more stable and healthy, like, future foundation by doing that, okay? It's like you're establishing that you are an individual and you have individual needs and space as well. It's not bad, you know? I feel like you're doing it for yourself. Anxiety. Ooh. You worry about what's going to happen when you come back. You worry about being away from this person and you, you worry about like what they think or what's going to happen. Are they going to walk away? You know, um, that's what I feel like. But I really get the vibe, Virgo, and I'm going to be honest that this really helps. This is going to help build a long lasting and sort of stable connection that is going to grow very well okay 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 virgo best and highest good spirit for virgo first through seventh of may Six of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups. Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this week it looks like you're really worried about getting back to somebody that you care about. You have the Moon in reverse. Uh, <laughs> the Moon in reverse is like misunderstandings. Like you're afraid that someone's going to get the wrong idea and they don't see your, like what you're trying to push across. But I feel like Honestly, Virgo, I feel like it's not your place to explain every single thing that you're doing. Not in this situation. It's like they need to have some trust in you. And I feel like this builds trust and strength in a relationship for the long term. OK, I needed to get that out. So it feels like you're trying to rush to get back to them or they're trying to rush and get back to you. Um, there has to be some sort of patience here. Yeah, I feel a rekindling. Or a new connection, like someone's rushing to show love and affection or start something really quickly, like to be around you and kind of love bomb you or smother you with feelings and emotions. Um, this is somebody that you already know. I feel like I feel like this is someone coming back. 
uh, they there's some sort of connection with this person. I'm going to say soulmate and I'm going to use it very loosely because I feel like this is a person that you're meant to connect with in your life. I don't know if it's forever. For some of you, I feel like it is. Some of you, it's just someone that you are meant to meet. I'll say it that way. OK, um, so I do feel like there is an emotional sort of grief or missing out of a person and it may cause someone to act up or act crazy to get your attention. Um, but I feel like you have other things that you need to balance in your life. You know, like you're learning love, work, love, life balance. OK, OK. Someone could be a water sign, especially with these two cups cards. That's Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Uh, this person is like fully in love with you, Virgo. You know, like they think about you and you're on the top of their list. That's what I'm going to say. Um, there was a problem in the past. It's like there was a problem with boundaries. Um, like maybe everything had to be their way or they were too pushy or they didn't leave space for you. And now you're finally being able to create that space. You're like, I'm going to have to create these boundaries if this is going to last. OK. Ooh, I feel like they were the one that either separated from you, broke up with you or tried to push the boundaries. OK. And they're seeing that them just trying to get the upper hand wasn't the best situation. It didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. So they are realizing the truth. I feel like the truth is, yeah, that they miss you. They miss this relationship. You are a part of their life that they want. It's like they want that structure of you in their life. OK, and they're missing that. Let me see, because I feel like you're working on something. Yeah, you're working on work life, love life sort of balance um, because you don't want it to be one sided. You don't want to give yourself all to them and the, or all to work. You want to have like a proper balance and a healthy relationship for moving on with this person because I see you really wanting to move on with them. Yeah, you miss them. You miss their affection. You miss you miss them. OK, and you can tell they want your attention, but you're trying to. Yeah, you're trying to sort of ignore the situation, even though, you know, they make you happy because you want it to be right this time. Yeah, you're trying to control the direction. You're inspired to create a better and a healthy type of relationship that's nurturing for both people. OK. You're really into healthy relationships, Virgo, which I love that for you. OK, so let's get some stories out for you. May 1st through 7th. Page of Cups in reverse and the Emperor. Some of you with children need to handle an unruly child, okay? Um, <laughs> I, I feel like they're just being childish and you really need to like buckle down on the discipline with them. I know that sounds weird, but it's like you need to reestablish that you're the adult. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll say that. Um, I also feel like someone is flirting with you to sort of get your attention and you're like, listen, you know, it's like you're taking control of the situation. Yeah. You're trying to like change the power dynamic. So. To make it easier. That's what it looks like to me. Also, be careful of like overspending. 
I feel like you were overspending or buying something a lot. But you're going to change that. You're changing that. I feel like you're about to start saving up some money, honestly. I see you really being in your head about something. Being in your head about something that you were supposed to do or something you need to work on. This is weird, but I feel like you were like you were in this weird spot where you were just like doing everything you wanted to do. And now you have to buckle down and do the things you have to do. You may have been spending a lot of time with someone you care about, but I feel like you... You're closing off. Why are you closing off, though? Yeah, I feel like you're trying to balance the scales. Um, I feel like there's too much emotional entanglement. It's like a habit that's not going to be healthy in the future. Yeah, so we're back to the other story. It's like a habit that's not going to be healthy in the future. So you're changing the path, you know? Um, but someone has like an emo like emotional unpredictability. Okay. Okay. Some of you thought a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces didn't love you anymore or didn't care about you anymore or kind of left you alone. Um, they don't. Their, their whole idea is trying to get you back and resolve something they feel like they did that was wrong. OK, um, I feel like you're about to get the truth. Yeah, you're about to get the truth and they're about to give you like. A ton of of attention after not giving it to you. Okay. Yeah. That's because they want, they want, they see an opportunity with you for something long term and they're not going to let that go. Okay. All right, Virgo. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye.